and welcome to part three of my restoration of the Mammoth TE1A traction engine. And today we're getting it up in paint and getting the main section of it built. First off all, we're giving it a quick rough over with some finish sanding paper. Just to clean it off, any bits of rough bits and stuff. Most of it's already done. Then once I'd sanded it, I wiped it over with maths to relieve, remove any greases, etc. from handling with my hands. And here I'm putting it into etching primer. It's darker than the primer we normally use to. It basically acid etches into the surface. And there we go, you might have guessed it. But I've decided on maroon for the colour for it. Decided on a colour change. And it's a nice colour, but it actually looks a lot darker than it looks here. Whether it'll look lighter again tomorrow in better light. But later, once I got it all together, it looks almost black. Anyway, here, I'm polishing up brass parts. This is a new item, but it benefits from the polishing. And this is the cylinder being polished up on the outside get it back to looking spanking and there we go starting looking gorgeous again I wonder if, uh, how many hours you actually save on the restoration just by having a Dremel. Imagine how many hours this had have took by hand. And here I'm doing the whistle. This is a second hand good item. I sourced off eBay. And there I'm polishing with silver water salt. For metals I never find I need anything else. It's been the best best automotive polish for years. Steamies usually use brass or but I use solval. Brass is probably a bit cheaper. But Solvol's quality. And here that's the forward and reverse lever. And regulator, speed regulator. Giving that a polish up. As it was a wee bit mucky in here. I've got a cloth to take off. The dry polish, the excess. it back down to a clean surface and here I'm riveting the boiler onto the firebox and these are special rivets the copper blind rivets so as well as holding the boiler onto the firebox they handle the temperature and they also seal, with being blind rivets, they seal the boiler. And just doing the second one. And there I'm uh, riveting the 
engine mounting onto the top of the firebox. Once all that's done, I then go to put the smoke box on, box on after. But it's starting to look damn good. Yeah, we're riveting the smoke box back onto the boiler. And there, I'm putting in my water level plug with the new sealer washer on it. Just give it a quick polish over. And as you can see, that maroon, it looks that dark. It looks black. Weird, uh, weird turn of events, but I don't mind, it looks good. It'll probably look lighter again in better light. And here I'm putting the cylinder back on with the forward and reverse lever and regulator. It's all back together and I've been polishing. There's polish sprayed everywhere that'll get washed off. And here we are, I've washed it off here to where we're heading and it's starting looking beautiful I've decided to go with the maroon to have yellow wheels I bought a can of yellow paint and it wasn't a dark enough yellow it was one of the cheap ones so I've reordered another yellow and I'm going to do one I'm undecided yet between Fiat Broom Yellow and like a post office red for all the wheels. Could end up either yet. I'm edging towards preferring the yellow. But it could equally be the red, I don't know. Tell me what you think. I mean, quite often when they did on maroon, they did the either red or yellow to complement the maroon. If it had been a lighter, if it shows up lighter, I think the yellow will look good. If it stays the dark maroon, I think the red will look better. Nah, who knows? It could end up as either. Well, there we are. I'm just checking out the forward and reverse and the regulator. Working lovely. Nice and cleaned up. Working lovely. And there I'm putting on the canopy mounting, riveting that onto the firebox to mount the canopy. Once it were on I had to do some adjustments because it didn't reach the chimney correctly so I had to bend the rear stanchion up about a bit. It fits good now. Yeah, we are just clamping in the other rivet. I bet it's great fun working for Mamod. I could do this all day. Simple, simple basic engineering. where we finished up back of the firebox and I've just put the front wheels on I did that so I've ended up having to bend the tubes out of the way where they go into the chimney so the rod can fit up inside the chimney it was a bit of an hindsight I left the tubes too long so I couldn't cut them once they were back together but learning material thing really. Anyway, thank you for watching.
hope you've enjoyed watching please subscribe if you've already subscribed thank you bye and see you again